uh, evacuation from um, Ukraine. Uh, I will request uh, Foreign Secretary Sir to make few opening, brief opening remarks and after that we will take uh, some questions. So over to you Sir. Namaskar and uh, good evening. Thank you for joining us at this late hour. Uh, you have all seen the sudden and serious developments in Ukraine today. As we speak, there is a meeting of the Cabinet Committee on Security, chaired by the Prime Minister in session, to take stock of this situation. The uh, Prime Minister has conveyed at the CCS meeting that the topmost priority of the government is the safety and security of Indian nationals, including Indian students, and their evacuation from Ukraine. Prime Minister is scheduled to speak to the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, shortly. External Affairs Minister will be speaking to the foreign ministers of the countries neighboring Ukraine, namely Poland, Romania, Slovakia, and Hungary. Earlier this evening, he also spoke to the EU High Representative as well as the Foreign Minister of the UK. A number of steps have been taken over the last month or so to deal with the emerging situation in Ukraine, including the contingencies that could arise, and I'm referring to the situation uh, as we see uh, today. We started the registration of Indian nationals in the Ukraine about a month ago. Our embassy uh, anticipated um, the need to connect and be in contact with all Indian students in the Ukraine. Uh, based on the online registration process that was conducted by our embassy, we found that there were close to about 20,000 Indian nationals, including students uh, in the Ukraine. Of these, uh, about 4,000 have since left the country. We have taken a number of measures to facilitate flights out of the country. This includes removing the cap on the number of passengers that could fly out of Ukraine that was imposed by the civil aviation authorities of both countries. There was a 440 uh, numbers that could fly out every week. That cap was removed. We also ensured that uh, the number of flights were augmented rapidly from about twice a week to about two flights a day. And that enabled us to get at least 4,000 of our citizens and students out. We should also remember that there were a number of other options available uh, through uh, flights to Dubai and Istanbul and other places from Kiev. Our, our embassy in Ukraine continues to be functional, is rendering all assistance possible to Indian nationals there, notwithstanding the fairly complicated and evolving situation that we find ourselves in. The embassy has issued a number of advisories in recent days. Today itself, the embassy has issued three advisories. And these uh, provide advice to Indian nationals uh, on the situation as it evolves, uh, travel towards safer places, including western parts of the country uh, that will facilitate the exit by road and other means, uh, safety precautions that our citizens could take, etc. Our ambassadors also sent a personal message to all Indian citizens in Ukraine, uh, providing uh, advice. Uh, we are consulting universities, student contractors in the process of uh, providing for the welfare and safety of our students. Uh, a control room has been set up in MEA. Now, this control room, uh, control room has been functioning for the past seven or eight days, but we have uh, seriously augmented the strength. Uh, we have uh, over 20 officers that are manning these control rooms, uh, this control room in the Ministry of External Affairs on a 24-7 basis. Uh, just to give an example, till now and just today, we have answered 980 calls and dealt with uh, some um, 850 emails that were sent to this control room. Our embassy in Kiev has also set up a helpline, 24-7 helpline center. Uh, the other measure that we have taken is that we have dispatched Russian-speaking officers to Kiev and to the country's uh, neighboring Ukraine. Russian speaking because the language there is Russian. If you're not Russian speaking, your utility is far more limited. Uh, some of these officers are already reached and are functioning. 
some will be reaching shortly. Um, we've also asked our embassies, our ambassadors in the countries neighboring Ukraine, and I mentioned these, uh, Poland, Romania, Slovakia, and Hungary, to send teams of their officers to the border areas with Ukraine to facilitate the exit of Indian nationals from Ukraine to permit them to come into their countries so where they can be safely evacuated back to India. Uh, and MEA teams are on their way as we speak to Zahoni border post in Hungary, Krakwiers land border in Poland, Visni Nemke in Slovak Republic, and Suseva land border in Romania. We have also asked some of our officers to go across and set up camp offices in Ukraine, close to the border. Two of the places we have identified are Lviv, which is close to Poland, and Chernivitsky, which is close to Romania. And here, I think, uh, will be sort of uh, facilitation points. Now, our embassy has, you know, it's a very complicated, very evolving situation. Uh, it's obviously, uh, you know, certain areas there's conflict. Uh, we can't have uh, a single sort of advisory that fits all situations. Uh, we have to evolve. We have to see where we are and how this, how and which part of the country are located and what the situation is. Uh, generally, if uh, we we are advising that if you find yourself in a certain difficult situation, then you should remain in secure areas and shelters, etc. If you can, you move westwards uh, towards the borders uh, with some of the countries I mentioned. And these advisories will be continuously issued. These helplines are for that purpose, so that depending on the situation, that advice can be given. Um, one important step that we have taken, because a number of our students were reluctant to leave because uh, the authorities, university authorities, had said that the classes must be offline. We have now persuaded all the universities and the institutions to allow online classes, and therefore students can actually leave without uh, uh, having to face uh, uh, you know, the uh, strain of not being able to, or missing out on their classes. As I said, the situation on the ground is difficult and is, uh, is uh, rapidly evolving. I want to assure, take this opportunity to assure all Indian citizens, uh, including students in Ukraine and their family members, that we will take all possible steps to bring back bring you back safe and sound, bring your wards back safe and sound. Um, uh, Prime Minister has specifically stated that uh, the Ministry of External Affairs should do everything possible in, in coordination, of course, with other ministries involved to ensure that facilitation on the lines that I discussed, uh, helplines, control rooms, uh, officers available, uh, shelters, uh, accommodation, facilitation in every manner is done for our citizens. Uh, we, of course, uh, uh, had a few citizens outside our embassy also. Uh, I'm told that at least uh, all of them, uh, I'm talking about numbers of 200 to 250 of our citizens, have been accommodated in uh, schools in the area. Uh, the embassy has been asked to facilitate uh, their requirements. And depending on the situation, we will um, have them evacuated uh, westwards.